Hannah trusts God. She had been carried triumphantly through a life of unusual sorrow. She was giving the history of her life to a kind visitor on one occasion. And at the close, the visitor said feelingly, Oh, Hannah, I do not see how you could bear so much sorrow. I did not bear it, was the quick reply. The Lord bore it for me. Yes, said the visitor, that is the right way. You must take your troubles to the Lord. Yes, replied Hannah, but we must do more than that. We must leave them there. Most people, she continued, take their burdens to him, but they bring them away with them again and are just as unhappy as ever. But I take mine and I leave them with him and come away and forget them. And if the worry comes back, I take it to him again. I do this over and over until at last I just forget that I have any worries and I am at perfect rest. Israel should have trusted God's words and left their burdens with him. Worry is blind and cannot foresee the future. The Bible says, desire the best gifts. It says, covet to prophesy. Rather than worrying, ask your Heavenly Father to give you a prophetic vision or a prophetic outlook rather than worrying about the future that you do not know. And exercise faith. Yes. And when we believe that our Heavenly Father has our best interest at heart, then we can trust that if He does not reveal the future to us, He will still be with us. There have been times where I have said, Father in heaven, please show me the future. I need to know about this situation. What's going to happen? And the Lord has shown me this is what's going to happen. And I'm like, wow. That's surprising. I, I wouldn't imagine it could end that way. And there's other times where I have prayed and said, Father, please show me, show me about this situation. What is going to happen in the future about this situation? This concerns me. And I don't get an answer. Jesus said to his disciples, I have many things to tell you, but you cannot bear them. There are times when it's better, ignorance is bliss, and our Father in Heaven chooses not to reveal the future. Whether He reveals the future to us ahead of time, or whether He does not, let us trust, let us hold the hand that was nailed to the cross for our sins. 